All right, we are back on Killer Instinct 2 over on Xbox One with some more online matches. So I am starting to learn Saberwolf, uh, a different character from Jago. But uh, yeah, I'm having fun so far, and I guess we'll do a long set uh, as long as he wants to play. I got a lot of time. All right, so anyways, uh, there's that split kick, which I believe is an overhead, and I still have yet to learn how to properly deal with it. But yeah. All right, let's go, let's go. All right. I like how he has a back dash, pushing back back and a forward hop with a uh, forward forward. Also, you can get extra hits with his uh, opener special moves by doing forward forward, then doing back and medium punch or back and medium kick. All right, good stuff. Oh, right through the fireball, there we go. But uh, I still gotta figure out how to start a combo with that lunging attack. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually, over a trial and error. Because I only went into training mode uh, for, I think, uh, a day or so. Actually, not even a day, because when you say a day, that's like, what, 24 hours? No, more like for, what, 20 minutes? 15 minutes? Just kind of learning his special moves and learning the timing of his uh, autos and manuals and linkers and stuff like that. So, yeah, just the basic stuff. Just enough to get me by for a couple of rounds. All right. Good match. Let's go again. So I am thinking of trying uh, Tusk. Yeah, uh, I did mention Tusk and Fulgore last time, but uh, I'm kind of lingering towards Tusk because I kind of want someone a bit more different than Fulgore. Uh, Fulgore is pretty cool. I like the sound effects, but wow, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> Dude, full screen howl. Yeah, of course, easily punished. All right, nice block on the overhead. Oh, you blocked the low attack, nice. Let's try overhead, there we go, got the opening and I dropped the combo again, as usual. Yeah. I think maybe I dropped around maybe 40% of my combos so far in the, the past couple of matches, yeah. I'm just getting the timing down for the manual hits. And of course, we are playing online. I mean, it's not the best net code and it's a yellow bar connection between our distances. So yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, Killer Instinct 2013 high-end netcode with, you know, green bar connection both ways, so you have to uh, deal with it pretty much right now, but uh, at least we're playing. It's manageable. Oh, wow, totally missed that. All right, let's see here. Oh, wow, nice cross-up, nice. You're learning from me. <laughs> Good stuff, and there is my finishing move, the bats. Or is it a vulture? The big one looks like a, a bit different than the other bats. It kind of looked like a, a red beaked kind of uh, bird or something. Yeah. I'm not sure what it was. I did want to try out uh, Gargos for some online matches. Uh, I believe you got to enter a code at the character select screen. Uh, but I remember I tried him many years ago and I wasn't too fond of him. He's very limited in his combo ability, kind of like Idol in uh, KI Classic. But honestly, I do actually have a lot more fun using Idol than I do in Gargos. Yeah. Idol, I think, was cooler looking. He sounded better and was overall more fun. But yeah. All right. And we got some lag. Yeah, it's noticeable sometimes. It's fine. I like the uh, the animation on the sky area and the stage. This is Orchid's level. The music is good too. Wow. No, I blocked the cross up that time. Not this time. Okay. There we go. Whoa, that was very close to getting hit. Very close. And I dropped uh, the manual again. Not good. Wow, you can stuff the uh, my wake up uppercut and wake up backflip. Yeah. There's not much priority on your wake up with these uh, uppercut moves like in Street Fighter. Which I think is a bit more fair now because I mean this way you cannot rely on a super invincible move with like what six frames of invincibility on wake up. It will get stuffed. So yeah. Alright, nice. I want to get his fifth ender. It's pretty cool. It's like a two hit backflip. Then he goes into an air version of the uh, cartwheel into a fifth hit of another backflip in the air. It's pretty cool. But uh, I'm not too focused on getting all the enders. I kind of just want to get the damage in there and 
I tend to lose track of uh, which enders I'm doing with uh, with Saber Wolf. Nice block. There we go. There's the break. Nice backflip. All right. Good. There's the overhead, and I yeah, as usual, I drop the combo. And more lag. Okay. There's the break. Oh, nice. Low block. Good stuff. Oh, what are you doing there, dude? Not good. Not good. There we go. There's the super. Get the howl for one more bar. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to play as multiple characters in different sets. Uh, but for now, we'll do Jago, Saberwolf, and most likely, maybe Tusk. Yeah, Tusk is, uh, I find, a little bit slower than Jago. But he has more reach. With his sword, that is. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll uh, stick to that plan if we play again uh, on another set. But my time is going to be limited after this week. So I'll play whatever I can. Why not? I mean, it's not like you see people playing KI2 online for YouTube consistently. So if I get some matches, why not, man? I'm going to upload them. It's all for fun anyways. All right, back to Glacius. All right, good. Nice, okay. Short combo. Almost nowhere to break for 23%. Wow, nice job. Nice. Oh, it grabbed me. Nice. Oh, you dropped your combo. You're learning from me. Dropping combos too. <laughs> That's not something you want to learn though. You don't want to learn how to drop combos like me. You're going to lose a lot of damage. There we go. Get the howl. You're not really doing the teleport uh, puddle punch. I noticed. Uh, yeah, not that much. Oh, that was a waste of four bars. Yeah, that... I believe uh, TJ Combo has one similar to that, but it's unblockable and it causes a dizzy. Like, wow. So, why is Saberwolf's version, you know, worse when it's the same thing? Anyways, alright, good. 19%, 5 hits, manual, okay, that's fine. Let's see, oh, that was your pressure double. Wow, nice headbutt. Oh, nice block on the low attack. Oh, there's a puddle, but I got the overhead. There we go. I'll jump in and do another super backflip just to guarantee the damage. There we go. Yeah, these stage knockoffs aren't that uh, great compared to the ones in KI Classic. Yeah. I forgot what the, uh, the stage knockoff looks like in the Sky stage in this game. If it's the same as in... Uh, Kai Arcade or if it's different. It's been a long time. Alright, so to end off this video, let's do one more match. And uh, yeah, I'll stick to Saber Wolf pretty much. Alright. Yeah, our connection is somewhere between uh, yellow and sometimes reaching green, but mostly yellow. So yeah, there are some lag spikes, there's some delay, you know, it's gonna happen pretty much. It all depends on the distance of two players because the net code in this game is pretty basic. It's nothing compared to how good the net code is in KI 2013. Yeah, that net code is fantastic for even overseas play. But this one is kind of basic. It kind of reminds me of the uh, basic net code in uh, Turok 2. Yeah, that was brought over to uh, Steam and also to Xbox. So, anyways, yeah. It's uh, similar also to the net code in. Uh, King of Fighters 2002, which you can get on Xbox, and also Neo Geo Battle Coliseum and all those classic games. Yeah, they all got basic netcode pretty much, like just enough to make it work, but it's not fully optimized or as high end as, uh, you know, GGPO, for example. Yeah. So, yeah. I always got, what, 12 bars of super meter? That means what? Two super backflips? There's one. And we got another one ready. I'm waiting for you, dude. Just be very careful. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. What are you going to do? And there's the uh, finishing move. You blocked it. It does chip damage. And oh, nice. Be very careful. I got what? 12 bars? I got 12 bars, man. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. And there we go. There is the finishing move in a combo, but uh, I guess it glitched. And I'm not sure why, but uh, I guess that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.